too because homeless people need shopping carts so they can store stuff in them yeah so but but if you're shopping in a store you you should put the cart back yes you know what's more evil than wood chips what shopping cart full of wood chips <gasps> no that's that someone stole you know what's even worse than that Cat tacos? That too, but one of those double shop. Like, there's these shopping carts, then it's like a shopping cart on the bottom, and then like a mini smaller shopping cart, like on a second layer on top, that filled with wood chips that was stolen by somebody and then pinned on somebody else. You, you know what my favorite kind of shopping cart is? What? The kind with the car on them. And you can get in There's and, ones for you, you, and you get pushed around and then you can pretend like you're driving and then you learn how to drive so you're not such a, a terrible driver when you're when you're big and you go to learn how to drive. Because you've been driving shopping carts. Mimi. What? I don't. Who pushes you around in those shopping carts? Mommy Soros. What? Yeah. You've gone shopping without me. Also, Mimi, you're a very. A very awesome sock puppet? Thank you. I know. You're pretty awesome, too. That's, that's why I like having you on the show with me and helping me teach things. You know what, that works too. I was about to say something, but I just didn't know how to word it. It was going to be mean, wasn't it? No. Okay. I'm, I'm surprised shopping carts don't have, don't have advertising on them. Like on the side of it, it has like advertise, like LED screen advertising for ads in the store, for sales in the store. I know, right? The closest thing they have to advertising is in the seats. They have a thing being like, make sure to buckle up your child if you put them in here. And it's like, okay. Well, I've never been buckled up in a shopping cart. It's because you're a puppet. I'm not a child. Yes. I don't need to, I don't need to be... That's cool. You're, I mean, apparently you're considered legally old enough to 
enough to drive, so. I'm totally old enough to drive. You're old enough I'm to not get buckled up in a shopping cart. Right. Shopping cart seatbelts are unconstitutional. What? Yeah. How come? Because they violate my Fourth Amendment rights. Which, um, what? I don't know. I just read it on the internet somewhere. I'm going with it. It totally sounds legit. Okay. I think someone posted it on Twitter. Big person, so it must it must be legit. What was their name? I don't I don't remember. I didn't pay attention. I just I just read random stuff on Twitter and say, yep, that looks true. And how did you know they were a big person? Because their picture was of a big person. Oh, I thought you meant big person like internet famous. Uh, no, like a like big people, like like grown-ups and stuff. Grown-ups know things. That's why we have to, that's why we ask them for help with stuff. We say, hey big person, can you help me do this? And then they help. Yeah. Or they get super offended, like, how dare you assume I'm a person? I'm not a person, I'm a dragon. Ah. And Daddy Soros, he doesn't either. He doesn't. He doesn't help. He makes me do all the driving. I have to go everywhere for him. Everywhere he says, "Go here. I need this," and then I go there and I get that. Right? I like potatoes. I like potatoes too. Anyways, we're at our destination, so we'll have to end the video here. All right. I hope you guys learned absolutely nothing about shopping carts. Or you should learn never steal the shopping carts and always make sure to put them back in the proper place. Don't just leave them in random places in the parking lot. Because that's evil. Okay. Totally evil. Okay, bye. Bye.